Hey there, everybody. It's me, Stewart. Today we're going to read about Mickey and the Beanstalk. Here we go. Long, long ago, there lived a place called Happy Valley, where the sun shone every day. High on a hill overlooking the valley stood a castle. Inside were many beautiful things, but the most beautiful of all was a golden harp with the face of an angel. Its sweet music cast a spell of peace over the whole valley. That's nice. One day, a mysterious shadow darkened the valley. When it went away, the harp had disappeared. Soon, the people who lived there grew sad and hungry, especially Farmer Mickey, Farmer Donald, and Farmer Goofy. When they had nothing left to eat, they decided to trade their cow for food. But on his way to the market, Mickey met an old man. Where are you off to? asked the man. To sell my cow, Mickey explained. The man looked at the cow. I'll buy her, he said, for these three magic beans. If you plant them under a full moon, they will grow right up to the sky. Farmer Mickey was curious, and there was a full moon that night, so he agreed. When Mickey returned home, he showed Donald and Goofy the beans. Three beans, they cried. We can't live on three beans. Donald grabbed the beans and threw them on the ground. They bounced once, twice, and finally threw a hole in the floor. Oh no. The three farmers went to bed that night, hungrier than ever. But then, as the full moon rose, something strange happened. The beans sprouted a stalk that grew and grew and grew, carrying the farmer's little house with it. Wow. When the farmers awoke, they looked out the window. Happy Valley was gone. There, they were in a strange land above the clouds. Mickey pointed to a giant castle. Whoever lives there must have plenty of food, he said. Maybe he'll share. The farmers ran to the castle, and sure enough, there were huge bowls of food sitting on a table. Let's eat, they cried, eagerly digging in. Looks delicious. Soon, the farmers were too full to eat another bite. Suddenly, they heard a voice coming from a trunk on the table. It was the golden harp. A wicked giant stole me and brought me here to sing him to sleep, she explained. Suddenly, just then, the room started shaking. Fee, fi, fo, fum, thundered a voice. The giant was coming. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy had to hide. They leaped behind a sugar bowl as fast as they could. The giant began to make a sandwich. And as the farmer scampered to find a new hiding place, Mickey got trapped inside the bread. The giant's eyes grew wide as he opened his mouth to take a bite. Oh no. Gotcha, the giant cried, grabbing Mickey. Then he scooped up Donald and Goofy too. He dropped all three of them into the same trunk he kept the golden harp in. But Mickey slipped out just in time before the giant locked the box. Grinning, the giant slapped the key into his pocket. He had no idea that Mickey was free. By now, the giant was sleepy. He wanted the harp to sing him to sleep. He placed her on a table, and within seconds, he was snoring noisily. This was Mickey's chance. He carefully reached into the giant's pocket and pulled out the key. As quickly as he could, he let his friends out of the box and picked up the harp. Yeah. Let's get out of here, cried Mickey. The giant opened one eye. Come back, he roared, leaping up, but the farmers didn't stop. You can't catch us, Mickey called. Run, guys, run. The ground shook as the giant chased them, but the farmers kept going down, down the beanstalk as fast as they could. Donald and Goofy reached the ground first and began to saw through the gigantic stem. At last, the beanstalk started to wobble. Then it began to lean. Finally, it fell to the ground with a deafening thud. The giant was never to be seen again. With the giant gone, the farmers returned the harp to her home in the castle on the hill. Farmer Mickey, Farmer Donald, and Farmer Goofy were heroes, and Happy Valley was a cheerful place once again. That was exciting. I'm glad they got their harp back. Alright, well thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. See ya!